Hello, how y'all doing? I'm going to talk about the update on the false prophets and false teachers. There are so many out there. I mean, I could not possibly cover all of them in this video. I mean, it was just, the video would just go on and on and on and on. I just don't, like, I do not make two-hour videos. I don't do that. Um, but, uh... You know who they are. They false prophets and they false teachers. There's just a bunch of them out there of all races, ethnic and ethnic groups. Just a bunch of them. And they don't talk very well. They say we was we was out in the park. It should be we were out in the park. I mean, they just, their English is really bad. And I wish some of you would tell them how bad their English is. We was out in the park. It's, it is we were out in the park. And they had said this. No, that is not correct English to say they had said this is they said this. Okay. So there are a lot of false prophets and false teachers. They use mirrors. They use crystal balls. They use calendars. They use all sorts of stuff. Sorcery. They eat a taco salad, take a nap and say, we had a dream that France is underwater, y'all. Okay. Uh, but this one, you know who he is. He plays a guitar. He needs a shower and a shave, y'all. I'm telling you what y'all what I know. Y'all know he needs a shower and a shave. Okay. Um he says Nancy Pelosi is a witch. He's already called Nancy Pelosi is uh, a witch. And he said either put Trump in office or bust. Okay. He already said that. You know, the thing about Trump is that he could care less about any of these false prophets and false teachers. You know, they're making a fool of themselves for the sake of Trump, and he knows that. But this one, you know, he he plays the guitar. He needs a shower and a shave, y'all. Somebody tell him. And he said, uh, Nancy Pelosi's a witch. And either he, she's got to put Trump in office or, or bust. Duh. Now, you know the infamous couple, the infamous couple, the, the guy from Nigeria, the, she's from America, and they they use a crystal ball. You know, this is about as close as I can get to a crystal ball, okay? This, they use a crystal ball, or they eat a taco salad, take a nap, and say, God told me this. God told me that Portugal is underwater right now, okay? Uh, or they'll say, here comes a tsunami in Brazil, well, Brazil is near a coast. Okay, of course it's going to be a tsunami. I mean, that's natural movement of the Earth's surfaces, surface. Okay, they predicted a, a cure for for a pandemic, which haven't happened yet. They did not predict that there were going to be new strains. They did not predict that. And there's umpteen new strains. There's strains in in Brazil, strains in Los Angeles. There's a lot of different strains. So now they're picking on Brian Carr. Okay, they're saying God's going to get you. Well, look, let me tell you something. If you in sin, you might die and go to hell. God didn't get you. It's your own sins that cause you to go in hell. So now they're picking on Brian Carr and saying God's going to get you show enough. But they didn't say why. I don't know what's going on with Brian Carr. I mean, is he fornicating? Is he making baby mama? Is his baby mama's? Uh, I don't know what's going on with him, but she says God's going to get Brian Karn yesterday, y'all. No, they said it. God's going to get Brian Karn yesterday. Okay, so I don't know what Brian Karn did to offend them. I don't know. I don't even know what he's doing. I mean, all I see is he's having one revival after another. Duh. Okay, but now I hear, she says she's starting to make candles. Now, that's good. That would be a welcome break from all that abracadabra stuff. She's looking in a crystal ball. Abracadabra. This ball is going to break right now. Um, France is going to be underwater. Portugal is going to be underwater. So is Italy going to be underwater, y'all. We get to go to Italy. Oh, okay. Now, now she's making candles, which would be a welcome change from all, from the crystal, from a, what, a crystal ball. Okay, and then you know the notorious Karen, Carrie Ann Gittin, the notorious one from uh, United Kingdom, originally from the Caribbean islands. I don't know which Caribbean island islands. Okay, she's on the war path now, y'all. She says that God killed Kevin Samuels. 
Now, look, let me tell you something. God does not kill people because he doesn't like them. Otherwise, probably 95% of the world's population would be dead and gone to hell for that matter. God does not kill people because he doesn't like them. Okay, she said God killed, it's right there on, on the video, Kevin Samuels because of the way he talked about black women. Well, if that is true, then God should kill every rapper. There is, because they, they say bad things about black women. They call us bees and hoes and who knows what else. And God hasn't killed any of them. Some of them going strong 20 years later, 30 years later. So God hasn't killed any of them. Okay. Now, I don't know why Kevin Samuels died. Uh, it could have been his time to go. He could have had a pre-existing condition, which I don't know anything about. Okay. I don't know why Kevin Samuels died. I just don't know. Okay. But she's saying God killed Kevin Samuels because of the way he talked about black women. And that's just not true. Um, she doesn't know why Kevin Samuels died because she just doesn't know. She doesn't know any more than I know, which is nothing. She said God killed uh, Kevin, Kevin Samuels, which is an absolute lie, y'all. Because like I said, God does not kill people because he doesn't like them. Otherwise, 95% of the population would be dead overnight. It wouldn't even take overnight, okay? Um, she's You got to understand, she's the one who said Jesus is going to come back in the spaceship. Uh, British government supposed to be collapsed by now. Uh earthquakes everywhere. You know, look, Jesus said these earthquakes are going to happen anyway. If earthquakes happen, tsunami is going to happen. All this stuff is going to happen anyway. They're going to have, they're going to be earthquakes. I can predict an earthquake in Indonesia. Why? Because a chief geologist said there's going to be a major earthquake in uh, a tsunami in Indonesia. And he's been studying for 30, for 30 years. Okay. A major geologist said, so what she's saying is all these natural disasters, they're going to come anyway. Now she has found a new person to pick on. And you cannot believe this is Nick Cannon. She says God is mad at Nick Cannon because he's fornicating everywhere and he has all these baby mamas. But let me tell you something. Uh, Nick Cannon can well afford baby mamas. He can well afford all these children. It is nothing for black men to have a lot of children. There's nothing for a black man to have 13 baby mamas. Nothing. I mean, the only difference is that they poor. They work at the cable company. So they're not, so they're not making that much money. I mean, the money's not going to go, but so far. So they just poor uh, daddies. They got 13 children, 13 baby mamas. I mean, it's a bunch of them. Now, look, my father married my mother, but he had baby mamas before he got married. He had baby mamas after he got married. I mean, I don't even know the totality of the number of children my father had outside of the marriage. I don't even know the totality. I only go by what I hear. I mean, I don't even ask the Lord how many children did he, did he have. I don't think I even want to know how many children. I, I don't even know want to know how many. But there's a lot, okay? But she's saying God is, is disappointed. Look, it's going to get Nick Cannon, but look. Um, God, word says God is angry with the wicked every day. If you, if you fornicate one time, that can get your butt in hell. I don't care if you're 19 or 69 years old. You go out there fornicating, you can go to hell for fornicating one time. You know, an older woman in her 50s or 60-something, she went out there fornicating, and the guy strangled her. What? She probably didn't go to hell. Why? Because she fornicated that one time. So you can fornicate. You don't have to do it umpteen times like Nick Cannon did. He says he's up doing it. But you don't have to do it umpteen times. Okay, you can just do it one time and go to hell. And what about the people who sell sex? Okay, ain't no pimps in heaven. Okay, where do you think the pimps go? How do you think God feels about selling sex? And selling sex is as old as Genesis. As Genesis is as old as selling sex is as old as Genesis. Because in Genesis, and I think in the book of Numbers, uh, Rahab the harlot, her brothers weren't working. Her father wasn't working. So they told her, look, go sell your body to bring the money in this house. And that's what she did. But she saved two Israelite spies. And she got saved. Evidently, she got saved and was probably welcome to heaven. I'm sure she stopped what she was doing. Uh, they said she went on with the Israelites. Okay. But um, 
she was fornicating. I mean, selling sex is as old as Genesis. That was in the, what the book of numbers. And, uh, I think, uh, what Judah, Judah, one of the sons of Israel, uh, he took a prostitute that was on the side of the road and it turned out to be his daughter-in-law. And uh, she gave birth to Peleg and, and what? In that time, the earth was divided. Pe Peleg means division. But she was by the roadside wanting to get paid for sex. Okay? So sex is, uh, selling sex is as old as Genesis, but doesn't mean we should do it. But like I said, you can go to, you can go fornicate one time and, and that'll get your butt in the hell. All you got to do is die and go to hell. I mean, uh, all you got to do is commit adultery one time and your butt can go to hell. All you got to do is fornicate one time and your butt can go to hell. You don't have to do it 15, 20 times like Nick Cannon. I don't know how many times she's doing it. She don't either. I think the problem, the biggest problem is she likes Nick Cannon because he's handsome. Okay, she likes him, y'all. She likes him. So she's just putting her hands on her hips and saying, look, Nick, God's going to get you for this. And look, she's going to get you for this because look, she uses mirrors, y'all. She uses mirrors, which is more dangerous than these than these darn crystal balls. Okay, I suggest Nick to Nick Cannon that he gets some more security because Carrie Ann's going to get him because she likes him, y'all. He's handsome and he's rich. She just likes Nick Cannon. That's all. That's all that's about. Now. She has a hundred thousand subscribers. You know, she she's a liar. The devil had the devil is rewarding her for spreading lies. Okay, the devil is rewarding her for spreading a whole lot of lies around the world. Lies, being a false prophet and a false teacher. The devil is rewarding her. You know, for that and for all this deception, all this end time deception. The devil is rewarding her generously you know, for this, but you know, she's after Nick Cannon y'all. So let's pray for Nick Cannon because Carrie Ann is after him. She's going to get him. That, that woman uses mirrors, which is more dangerous than the crystal ball, but she just likes him. That's, that's all there is to it. She just likes him because he's cute. But you know, look, I'm going to say this in defense, in defense of Nick Cannon. He can well afford a lot of children. He's got money. He got money in his pocket. He's not like these black men. With 13 children, got no money in their pocket. They work for the cable company. He's well able to afford all these children, okay? Um, so look, she's continued to spread lies, and she's going to continue to spread them, okay? So there's plenty of false prophets and false teachers out here. And, you, you know, you just got to compare to what the scripture says. And they speak terrible English. I mean, terrible. You can tell they didn't do nothing in... in uh, high school English class because they say we was here rather than we were or or they had given us this. No. This no they had given us is they gave us this. Uh look uh look at this. No. No, that's wrong. They say they say um listen at this. That is that just gets my on my nerve. They say listen at this. There is no, that's Ebonics. That's Ebonics, y'all. That's not even correct. That's not correct English. It's listen to this. Not listen at this. I wish these false prophets and false teachers would learn to speak the king's English. Because I don't halfway understand them, frankly. You know, even though they're false and I write down some of the things they say, I don't hardly understand it because they speak such incorrect English. I, I didn't grow up on Ebonics. My mother spoke the King's English. My mother spoke very good English. I didn't grow up on this Ebonics. I can't even get used to Ebonics. So some of you, I wish you all would tell these people to speak, these false prophets and false teachers would tell them to speak some half-decent English. Bye.